In this morning's Health Watch, we are testing your holiday health IQ. Some of the old things we've heard all the time could turn out to be true, but not all of them. So we're going to help you find the true and the false here this morning. Dr. Jennifer Ashton joining us to separate holiday fact from fiction. Good morning. If your mother said it is true. So wise. There you go. <laughs> one would never guess that you're a mom, too. Um, so, okay, first one, most important one. A lot of people say this, oh, it's the holidays. I can't fit in anything anymore come January 1st. Do you really gain 5 to 10 pounds? No, thank goodness. That is actually a myth, and it was studied officially, if you will, by the New England Journal of Medicine. They found that most people from Thanksgiving to New Year's gain one pound, which doesn't really sound like a lot. Right. However, most of the people who might be more prone to that weight gain are people who are starting out overweight or obese to begin with, so every pound truly adds up. And remember, if you're gaining a pound that month, are you also gaining a mm -hmm. pound a month for the rest of the year? So it doesn't sound like a lot, but like anything, it can add up. So it's not quite as high, but it's still something. Absolutely. So you still need to be careful. Exactly. When it comes to all of those calories, a lot of them over the holidays come in the form of drinks, whether it be right. eggnog or something alcoholic. If you're cooking something with alcohol, though, do those calories burn off? No, and you would think that it would, and the reason for that is because a lot of thing, a lot of dishes that alcohol is put into during the holiday season are slowly cooked or they're simmered, mm -hmm. and it actually requires a temperature above 175 degrees to burn off all of the alcohol. So you are definitely left with a lot of it still there. And again, it can add up not only in the form of calories, but also in that alcohol buzz that you could get if you're at a party and you're drinking your alcohol as well as eating it. So it could still be in there. Absolutely. This one I, we have to do, but I want to sort of get it out of the way because it's sort of, it's a little bit depressing, but there's always been this rumor that, you know, heart attacks are more prevalent during the holidays. How much truth is there? It actually is true, Erica, and it's called the Merry Christmas Coronary or the Happy New Year Heart Attack, Oof. if you will. But absolutely, there are greater rates of death in that holiday period for a number of reasons. Emotional stress, physical stress, more alcohol and salt consumption. Most people not wanting to go to the hospital. So a couple of important things that people can do, obviously, to reduce their mm -hmm. own risk. Watch your stress. Be aware of it because everyone can get that holiday stress. Watch your alcohol and salt consumption, especially people with known heart disease. You really want to be careful with that. Shoveling snow, known to increase the risk of cardiac events and heart attacks. So absolutely take wow. breaks. And most importantly, if you are having symptoms, Erica, do not delay getting medical attention, calling 911, calling your doctor. A lot of people think doctors are off during the holidays. Not we don't true. get days off. <laughs> and actually, it's not the second or third string of doctors who are manning the emergency rooms and your doctor's offices. We take turns, so you have just as good a chance of getting your top doctor during the holidays. No reason not to call. Absolutely. When it comes to the poinsettia, toxic, yes or no? actually not toxic. Oh, good. Believe it or not, Poison Control Centers has gotten over 20,000 reports of poinsettia consumption, most of them mild, no deaths. At most, it'll give you some vomiting. Obviously, you don't want to eat an entire plant, but not the big <laughs> myth that uh, it'll kill you. It doesn't really sound that and appetizing either. That's right. It's probably better to look at them. <laughs> exactly. But good to know they're not toxic. Jen, thanks as always. Sure.